And it has turned out to be a pretty quiet evening, not seeing a whole lot of activity on the radar just yet, but we are expecting the rain to increase across parts of Northwest Tennessee and then into Western Kentucky through the overnight hours. Southern Illinois, Southeast Missouri, not going to see as much activity. So quiet conditions on those sky cams right now. This is a live look of your camera in Carbondale. Temperatures have dipped back into the upper 50s in Carbondale. We're talking 59 degrees, but there's a pretty big difference in temperatures across the viewing area. Those north and western counties have dipped back into the mid 50s, 56 for Mount Vernon, Perryville and Farmington. Meanwhile, those southeastern counties still running in the mid to upper 60s. Paducah reporting 68, 65 in Eddyville. 66 for Murray and Union City. As far as the rest of the night goes again, we will see that chance for a few showers across western Kentucky. That'll stick around into Thursday, primarily during the morning hours, and then we'll see more widespread rainfall return as we get closer to the weekend. So some more activity coming our way. We've got a more active pattern kind of setting up across the area, widening out that satellite and radar view. You can see some of those showers are trying to make their way into parts of northwest Tennessee. Tennessee. We'll see those uh, increase overnight tonight. So by the time we get to, you know, about midnight, one, two in the morning, you can start to see more widespread activity for those far western counties. You'll notice though, southern Illinois back into southeastern Missouri, still looking pretty dry. Can't completely rule out a stray shower, but I do think that chance is relatively small. Those rain chances for western Kentucky and northwest Tennessee will kind of start to lower throughout the afternoon. They won't be completely zero, but they will drop off as we head into the afternoon and evening. Again, not a washout by any means. As far as that rainfall forecast goes, some of those far western counties could pick up between a tenth of an inch up to a half an inch, but you'll see a lot of areas not seeing that activity. So not a washout tomorrow. The better rain chances will arrive on Saturday with our next storm system. We'll be tracking a widespread rainfall, maybe even a few thunderstorms, and then that will linger into Sunday before clearing out of the area. So keep that storm track three up around. That'll be great to have on your smartphone, of course, to track some of those rain chances coming our way. Tomorrow morning, if you're not dealing with the rain, it's a cool start to the day, at least cooler. We're talking temperatures dipping down into the upper 40s for that bus ride in. For that ride home, temperatures only going to be into the low 60s, 62 degrees for that high. So cooler than we have been, but that's still technically a little bit above average. The average high for Carbondale is 60 degrees. We warm right back up into the mid 60s Friday and Saturday and then check out next week. We are still tracking temperatures running close to 70 degrees next week. That fall weather really just doesn't want to stick around right now. No, it just keeps on giving us like little tastes of fall and then it turns back into the warmer weather. It so does. it'll be interesting to see when we'll start to actually have that uh, yeah. more fall like temperatures. I think a lot of people are ready for it. I agree. Thanks, JC.